the AAS2727. Okay, I am back ranking more for NAF animatronics. You know the vibe. So, I have done top 10 versions of Bonnie, top 10 versions of Freddy, Foxy, Chica, and now I'm going to finish that series by ranking Golden Freddy versions and Springtrap variations. But today, we are going to be ranking every version or variation of the puppet animatronic you guys know the puppet first introduced in FNAF 2 and yes <clears throat> I'm pretty sure he was the um the first kid that died she uh she I think it's a she yeah it's a she she was the first kid that died not Golden Freddy and yeah she's got like I think everyone was going insane about the puppet and the lore behind the puppet when FNAF 2 came out. Obviously, MatPat was going insane. But hey, let's just let's just start ranking these. So we got five. So, coming in, number <clears throat> five, we have got Phantom Puppet. Now, Phantom Puppet, you know, he's basically like the puppet, but a reskin. Like most of the Phantom animatronics, they're reskins of the FNAF 2 versions of the animatronics. But Phantom Puppet... You know, Phantom Puppet's Phantom Puppet. It's literally exactly like Puppet, but just imagine boogers on it. Obviously, it fits the vibe of FNAF 3. Like, it looks insane. And when he just, when um, the Phantom Puppet just looks at you and just, like, is in your face in the camera. Not in the camera, just, like, in your face and you can't see anything, just the Phantom Puppet's face. Bro, that is terrifying. And his eyes are glowing white. I swear, I don't know if it's scarier him with eyes or him without eyes. Like, like, bro, in FNAF 2, he's got no eyes, but Phantom Puppet, he's got glowing eyes. And, bro, he just looks more decayed, and, yeah, he's pretty sick. So, coming in number four, we have got Security Puppets. Now, ooh, Security Puppet, I didn't even, need, I didn't even know this guy existed. But this guy is literally more of a puppet than the other ones. And by the way, obviously, I don't think I'm ranking every version of the puppet. I'm just including every game except FNAF World because, yeah, I'm not going to include that game. But let's get back to Security Puppet. Security Puppet, yeah, he looks dope as. He's literally, he is literally a puppet. I don't know if he has legs. He's literally got strings attached to his um arms. I know the puppet had that, but this guy looks more of a jester and... He looks clean, you know? I mean, his style looks clean. He's got that gold bell. He's got them... He's got them eyes. He's got them pupils, you can see. He's got them nice stripes. He's got the button, the present. I know the puppet had that too. But this guy, he's just... He suits, um... FNAF, uh... 6. I don't know what FNAF this... Uh, I don't know what game this guy's in. He's in the one where it's like a tycoon. I forget which one that's called. But hey, it it is a sick one. It is a pretty sick one. But hey, what are we up to? Number three. Coming in number three. We have got Night Marion. Night Marion, I'm just going to be honest with you. He is the scariest out of all the puppets. Like, for, to be real, he looks, he looks fucking, he looks sick as. Oh, there's a car behind me. No, I'm, not, I'm joking. I'm not driving while I'm recording this. But Night Marion, he looks sick. Like, bro, he literally looks like the blob from Security Breach. But, like, skinnier, obviously. He looks skinnier. But, yeah, he just he just looks sick. He looks he literally looks like oil. He literally looks like he was made from oil. And you can literally see his ribs. And he, he's got eyes and he's got an actual mouth that can open and close. Like, bro, it's like if the puppet, like, full-on mutated into, like... I don't know, a mutant or something. He's got them gooey tentacles at the end of his fingers. Like, oh my god, bro. This guy is skinny, lanky, disgusting, horrifying. But he is sick at the same time. He's got teeth. He's full on black and white. No colours. He is a goth. Like, bro, this this guy. I think he was on the Halloween DLC for um, FNAF 4. And yeah, that was a good choice because, bro, he looks sick. Coming in number two. I don't know if I'll get a lot of controversy, Contra, controversy, controversy <clears throat> with this. I think you know who I'm going to say. I'm going to say, coming in number two, we have the puppet. Yes, he's not number one. 
But I have good reasons, and I'll tell you that later. But yeah, the puppet, I mean, the puppet is the puppet. He is the bloody hardest. He is basically the most difficult challenge in FNAF 2. Him and Foxy are the most difficult people, not people, animatronics to, to you know, take care of. And bro, it is scary because once you know he's out, like once you see that he's not there and the, the present is just like open and like, bro, you're stuffed. You can't do anything about it. Like, I wish you could do something about it, but you, you, just, you just can't. You can't do anything. But his design is her. I don't know. It's a her. Her design is sick because, bro, she's literally, she's not an animatronic. Like, I can't tell if she's an animatronic. Like, obviously, there is, like, robotic stuff in there. But she is also a puppet, like, because she has strings. You see in the cameras, she has strings, like, attached to her from the ceiling. So I don't know if she moves around with the strings to the ceiling. Or if she's like an animatronic and she can walk. But she doesn't really have feet, so I think she hangs from the ceiling. But um, her design is sick. Crying. She's literally crying because she was the first one killed. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Uh, not Cassidy. I don't know who it is. I forget her name. But yeah, her design, it is real. It's like different. Like, bro. They risked it. They risked having this design because this was the first, like, non-animatronic design. Because this was FNAF 2, the second game. And all the other animatronics are literally animatronics. But this one is literally a puppet. And they were they, they risked it. But obviously, everyone loved it. This was... This animatronic has probably the most lore around it besides Golden Freddy. Golden Freddy and the puppet have the most lore around them. I'm getting, I'm getting carried away with myself. Okay, coming in number one, we have Lefty. Now, uh, this is based on my opinion, but I like animatronics more than um, puppets. Like, I like the animal designs better, and the backstory of Lefty is just sick. Lefty is basically a full-on uh, Rockstar Freddy animatronic. Rockstar Freddy Bear, except just painted black, and done up by, um, Henry, which, you know, Henry, Henry is, um, Henry's daughter is the puppet, right, so, this, this animatronic is literally designed to capture Henry's daughter, to bring him back to her, to bring her back to him, but I'm getting these things mixed up, yeah, but, no, nah, this is cool, because, bruh, Lefty is literally, oh my god, Lefty's just his, her design, I don't know if it's a him or a her. Her design is just sick. The sleek black bear. Everyone loves a sleek black bear. With the red hat. I don't know if it's a red hat. Let me check. Yeah, the red hat. The one eye. And apparently her name's Lefty because, I don't know, the microphone's in the left hand. And yeah, that's cool, I guess. But yeah, the like this bear it just looks sick in every thumbnail. Every animation I watch... And the backstory to this as well. Like, I've seen videos of Lefty catching the pup, capturing the puppet. And, bro, it looks sick as. I don't know if the puppet takes control over Lefty. Or Lefty just is just moving the puppet. Because people said the puppet is stronger in Lefty. Or Lefty is stronger with the puppet. I really don't know. But, hey, that was my ranking of... Uh, um, ranking every version of the puppet. Hope you liked it. I'll be making a Golden Freddy one and a Springtrap one very soon. Obviously not ranking everyone because there's too many of them. I'll be doing a top 10 of them. So, uh, peace out!